mountain, a Hearthstone adventure! Hello everybody and welcome back to Black Rock Mountain! Today we are doing the Wing 4 Boss 1 and we're doing it with a face hunter. But we're going to play it a bit differently. We're not going to play it exactly like a face hunter. We're going to play it because it's got lots of low cost minions and we can put out the Unleash the Hounds and just wreck face. So, if you didn't know, this is the boss, uh, Razor Gore the Untamed. Now he's alright, he's alright to kill. You need to make sure that you get the correct hand. If you don't get the correct hand, then you're bugging. So if you can try and draw into uh, Explosive Trap or One Drop minions, then ideal. Preferably the Leopard Gnome, because if you don't have a One Drop, then he's going to buff his eggs up to not 4, meaning that when they get up to not 5 the next turn, he's going to have a 7-7 seven, seven, turn 2. Yeah, he'll have a 7-7 seven, seven, turn, turn 2. And that's ridiculous. So you need a One Drop, at least a One Drop, turn 1, uh, to be able to put that down. Now, fortunately... Um, I managed to actually get that Nautfall down by drawing into a silence, which is very helpful. So I silenced that, and then thankfully next turn he used that 2-2 to go face instead of taking out the 2-1, which was a mistake on his half, because then now I can actually use Explosive Trap, or I could use uh, the weapon to be able to attack into the 2-2, and then use the Owl to attack into the 0-4 Egg. Or I could have done the Unleash the Hounds, which is actually a lot better here. So you weaken down the eggs, but you don't want to kill them. You want to you wanna make sure that he fills up his ball with eggs, um, because then he can't play minions. So if you can fill his board up with eggs, just but, but by keeping his eggs health manageable so just make sure they don't get to like four four health because obviously that's danger zone next turn he'll be able to get up to five and he's got a seven seven so if you can try and keep that under control then ideal so i use the uh, the weapon and i use the abusive sergeant because obviously on mana curve and we can just keep control of these little guys and it's perfectly fine so having them down to two or one health is pretty solid it's pretty good um, but that means they're prone to explosive trap, and if you can keep them alive, then I really do recommend it because he's going to fill his board up with eggs that can't attack, uh, rather than minions that can attack. So you know, just common sense. So I put down the explosive trap here and put uh, something into the two three. There you go, and then that will obviously make sure that the two two dies. Um, so yeah. You need to make sure that you know that next turn you will have at least a minion down on the board to make sure that if he does manage to buff the eggs, then you're a bit more safe. Now, bit of a warning, as you can probably already see, he does run bloodlust, so keeping all the eggs out is dangerous, but you would rather him have a full board of buffed eggs plus three attack eggs rather than a full board of minions that can attack anyway, and then plus three attack on top of that. So, Bloodlush, you need to keep an eye out for it, but thankfully, he couldn't actually do much damage to me. So, Hero Power is quite good in this as well, because the faster you can take him out, the better, when you actually have a bit more control, because he'll get to a stage when his board is filled up, and then all he can do is either Bloodlust, or Armor Up, or even just, you know, buff his eggs a little bit. And if you can actually keep a little bit of control of his eggs, then ideal. Now, you can probably see that I'm starting to lose a bit of that control, because he's got one, two, three eggs at three health. And I have three ways of attacking the eggs, but I need to take out that 5-4. So, I was a bit of, in a bit of a sticky situation. So, even taking off one health of one of the eggs is, is quite good, because then that means it's another turn before the 7-7 seven, seven can come out. But he's buffed all those eggs, and now he's got loads of high health eggs, which are going to be a bit of a problem. They're going to be a huge problem, considering I've only got one dog out. Um, so, ping face. We've got the weapon to be able to attack into the 0-4 as well. And, unfortunately, we got Misha. But, you'll see later on, that that was actually really helpful for me. So, he's going to buff the eggs again, and then, suddenly, he's got five... Yeah, five eggs at four health, which isn't great. Um, so yeah, Wolf Rider plays quite well with this, but bear in mind, I've got Freezing Trap, 
and if the eggs were to hatch, then those one, the, the first one of those uh, seven sevens to attack would be returned to his hand, and he's going to struggle to get that back down again if he's got a full board of minions anyway. So, bear in mind that he uses his hero power, the first, it, the, the first thing he does on each turn is use his hero power, so he's going to fill up his board rather than putting down a 7-7. Seven, seven. So now that I've got explosive, uh, not explosive trap, I've got freezing trap in my hand, he's going to use a 7-7 seven, seven to attack into Misha, which is going to go back to his hand, and then a 7-7 seven, is going to take out Misha, and then a 7-7 is seven, probably going to go face. Um, so we've got a mad scientist down as well, we can chuck everything into face, or we can try and uh, keep control of the eggs, but at this stage, because we're so close to lethal, we're just going to want to go face because uh, the likelihood of him being able to kill us off, even if those eggs did hatch, is very slim. So, as I said, Frozen Trap, Minion goes back to his hand, and then that one goes into there, and he got the Draken and Crusher, but he hasn't got any minions to be able to take out the rest of it. Now, I don't actually have enough damage here on board. I've got five there, including my hero power, but thankfully I drew into an Arcane Golem to be able to deal that extra little bit of damage. So! I had to do this a couple of times. It's a little bit tricky. You need to make sure that you get the proper draw. But if you get the proper draw, if you get the one drop to start off with, or a couple of one drops maybe, then ideal. And also the Iron Beak Owls are really, really good to, to, to draw into as well. If you can silence the eggs, then it means they're not going to hatch into anything no matter how big their health is. So, I hope you found this helpful, and I hope you enjoyed this. We are doing lots of stuff this weekend over on uh, Twitch as well, and we've got lots of awesome stuff coming up on the channel over the next week. So, hope you enjoyed this. Come back next time, and we'll do the next boss, and I shall see you later. Bye!